Salam alaikum, true authors, YouTubers, and everybody alike who watches the work that we do. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. It took me a year and a half after I left my military service to acquire medical insurance for myself and for my child. Although I had fully paid for my insurance during my years of service, I was denied medical insurance and so was my child on the basis that I was not married and that I was a single parent and that made my child not entitled. Although they offered me the opportunity to acquire medical insurance for myself, I turned them down, naturally. I was able to challenge this fact from a legal basis and it was found to have actually been illegal. Since then, medical insurance for all single parents, as long as you're fully paid up, is open for membership. A letter in the form of a message, I would say, was sent to all members, being told that from that day onwards, single parents were eligible to have their children insured. Well, if you are a member, then it means you're not a single parent. So this video is for the single parents out there who have served, who have paid up for their medical insurance, whose children do not have medical cover. There is a list of requirements that I wanted to tell you you need to have. On the official form, you're told to have a copy of your national ID, an original birth certificate for your child, either your red or green book, a duly filled dependence form that is supposed to come from your unit, and you're supposed to submit this and you get your medical cover. However, when you get there, other requirements are demanded for you to get your card. So listen up and write them down. You need a clearance form, a payment voucher that indicates you have fully paid up for your medical cover. You also require the copy of your national ID and the copy of the birth certificate of your child. There's that part that says you need a declaration for dependence from your unit. Well, nobody should put you to task about having that because single parents are not allowed to publish their children. So there is no way you possibly have that form. It should therefore be sufficient that you have a birth certificate of your child, period. As for getting the payment voucher, this is tricky. And probably the best thing to do is to prepare before you leave the service and ensure that you have a copy of that because getting it after you leave the service is actually very difficult. So for the widows who have been paid, please go and pay a lump sum of your medical cover. It will cover you and four children under the age of 21 permanently.